Limitations of Business Communication Have you ever sent an email that was completely misunderstood, sparking an office conflict? Or attended a meeting where your ideas were dismissed because you didn't follow the unspoken cultural codes? Welcome back to EM. This is your Captain Al speaking. Don't let your career suffer due to common communication pitfalls. Stay tuned to learn how to navigate these treacherous waters effectively. Let's go. Misinterpretation. Imagine you're emailing a project proposal. You aim for brevity, but your team reads it as dismissive. Merabian's communication model tells us that without the 93% of communication that's non-verbal, our words can be easily twisted. Remember the incident where a simple OK in an email escalated to a heated argument? The solution is robust. Always follow up significant digital communications with a personal touch like a call or a meeting Hello. to ensure your tone and intent are crystal clear. Cultural differences. Picture an American manager bluntly critiquing a Japanese employee's work, unaware that such directness might be seen as disrespectful in Japan. This misstep could freeze a promising business relationship. Hofstadter's cultural dimensions theory is our compass here. Understanding and respecting these nuances is key. It's about more than avoiding faux pas. It's about building bridges across cultures. Educating oneself on these norms and adapting communication styles is not just courteous, it's smart business. Technological challenges. Have you ever sent an urgent email that went unnoticed? Or perhaps a critical Zoom call where nonverbal cues got lost in translation? Nicholas Carr's The Shallows warns us about the pitfalls of over-relying on digital tools. They can dilute our empathy and depth of connection. The balance is crucial. Combining the convenience of digital tools with the personal touch of face-to-face -face interactions can lead to more meaningful and effective communication. Information overload. Think of a time when your inbox was so flooded that an important email slipped through the cracks. Clay Johnson in The Information Diet likens this to overeating junk food. It clutters the mind. The solution? A strategic approach to information management. Prioritize, organize, and don't hesitate to seek clarifications. It's about creating a diet of information that's healthy for your productivity and mental clarity, legal and ethical constraints. Remember the marketing campaign that backfired due to a lack of awareness of advertising laws in a different country, or instances where companies faced backlash for unethical communication. As per Kant, the ethical backbone in communication is non-negotiable. Staying informed about legalities and practicing transparent, honest communication is more than compliance. It's about building trust and credibility. Conclusion. In conclusion, mastering business communication means navigating its limitations with skill and ethical consideration. It's about ensuring clarity, respecting cultural norms, balancing technology, managing information effectively, and upholding legal and ethical standards. Thanks for joining us on this journey. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Until next time, communicate wisely. Cheers, your Captain Al.